I got a little time while I'm wandering around this parking lot looking for this fucking truck. So uh, I figured in the meantime, I could tell you all real quick about what I mentioned earlier about the story. You know, like I, there was a couple of you guys were surprised. I sold the, uh, the, the long block that I have in the front of my house on the engine stand. Like, what the hell? You know, you said you were going to run that one. And then I know it, I always get to the thing where I build an engine. I'm saying, this one's for me. I'm going to use it. And then I wound up selling it. But I did say in my defense that if I didn't, uh, you know, the once I completed it, because it was just a short block, excuse me, just a short block. I said, once I complete the engine, I'll try to sell it one more time. And if I sell it, it sells. And if I don't, then I'll run it because I don't want to go to waste. Uh, so I was able to find a seller. And then, so that led me into the debate on what I'm going to do next. Do I, uh, do I get another K20 and go balls out? You know, do I do my rocket ship uh, build, the one I want to make a uh, thousand horsepower, or do I stay completely stock sleeve and try to make 800 or uh, or what? You know, I, I didn't know. The, the whole thing was is either route, any, any which way I decided to go, it was going to take a long time to finish. Uh, the If I go for a big boy build, the rods are... 700 plus dollars pistons you know around uh 500 dollars you know and then i gotta you know and that's that's just the pistons and rods that doesn't count for the fact that i'm gonna need to buy big ass fucking injectors like really big injectors which are like three or four hundred dollars um i'm gonna buy i need to buy a heavy duty like exhaust manifold or exhaust manifold for the turbo so that's gonna be expensive uh even if i go cheap that's still 600 then I gotta buy the, you know, the rest of the turbo kit and all that shit. It's just, it's just gonna be a long path to get to, the, to get to the, in the car. Even if I Wuhan out and go Chinese everything, it's gonna be a long path to get to the point where I can actually put it in the car and tune it. So even if I wanted to go the budget route, just use my five-speed training. Because remember, I have an all-wheel drive training as well that I plan on using for the rocket ship. And I was like, it, no matter what way I went about it, if I try to go boost, it was gonna cost me a lot of time and uh, money. Now, well, the good thing is, is I remembered last night or early this morning when I was going to bed, I was like, I still have two long blocks under my kitchen table, two NA setups. And uh, that brought me back to a memory of one of the two that I had. It was a K20, K20 block that's bored out to 88 millimeter <laughs> with uh, CTR pistons in it, uh, but on stock rods, but with a RBB head. So it's a real VTEC head, high compression, and you know baby baby rods, but whatever. Sub 300 horsepower capable block that um, won't cost me much money to finish. See, that's the good thing about this. I was like, I could buy like a fucking a little, a little booty ass clutch to throw in there. Wow, that glare is and mad annoying. I could throw a booty ass little clutch on that fucking on that engine, and I could decap some stock injectors and send it. You know, I could have that together real quick and throw the five speed on there. Not only could I have the swap done really quick, but I could, you know, prove we could prove what I'm talking about for these for these builds, have it for advertisement, and then I could yank the motherfucker back out and throw like another block in there for a boost and then sell that one because it's proven to make the power I said it was gonna make. So um yeah, that's so in the end I decided that uh I want to go with something that I can complete with the quickness. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for wait for this guy who bought the long block to finish making his payment so that way I have free space. Then I'm going to drag that fucking long block from out from under my kitchen table and uh, start. Uh, and I'll probably start buying the knickknacks for it now. So by the time I pull it out from under the table, it'll probably be dropping ready. At that point, I'll just need a shell. So that's it. That's the little update. I figured I was gonna do so I'll talk about it. It's just that when I built that when I built that long block a couple years ago, I was still really broke. Uh, I was making enough money to where all my bills were being paid, and I would have no money left over. In that time, I've gotten massive raises. My wife's got massive raises. VHB engines took a fucking massive uptick to make the money. So even back then, even the thought of running an NAK series was just too expensive, and now it's not. Uh, so. I can do that and uh and to be honest like i said that you know doing the turbo setup 
isn't like super crazy expensive like if i really wanted to i could start putting it together now it's just uh you know i could start buying parts for it now but it would still take me predominantly the rest of the year because i want to do the all-wheel drive version uh even if i don't go all-wheel drive and i go big i still got to spend you know 600 something dollars for even if i get a generic du a dual um, you know twin disc there's it's just uh it'll take more time and i want to get something done like relatively quick so if i go ahead and piece together the swap uh, and get a shell it could, it could actually get done re relatively quick as opposed to uh me going to turbo so that's that's the plan